Hello, hello. Praise How the Lord. How exciting is this? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. How's everyone doing? Make sure you are extremely active with us today on social media. But before we start, can you share a word of prayer with Well, before we start, I just wanted to say that you look very beautiful today. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank Amen. You. Thank you. Thank you. You are looking amazing. And you look handsome and magnificent as always. Amen. Amen. <laughs> now, I want us to start by prayer. We want to start everything by prayer. Yes. Without God, nothing will be impossible for us. So we want to pray. Just pray with us right now. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you all the praise and give you all the glory. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in our midst. We thank you for this opportunity to stand before your people to talk to them about marriage. We pray for your presence. We pray that you will use this opportunity to speak to all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that even as we have gathered here, we have gathered in in, in Mount Zion in the spirit. And that, Lord, the blessings of Mount Zion, let it be released. We pray that even as this... We are talking about marriage. May the grace for marriage be released. In the name of Jesus. May people now begin to enter into their marriages. Yes, Lord. May marriages that are destroyed begin to be amended. In the name of, Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. We pray for the favor of marriage. Yes, we pray for the understanding. We pray for the love. Mm-hmm. In the name of Jesus. We thank you that you are, you are having your way. Yes, we come against every distraction. Yes, anything that will hinder this word. That will hinder the... The broadcast, we come against it in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We soak the cameras, the network, everything with the bl- in the blood of Jesus. Yes, and we pray the Holy Spirit, you will take your place. Yes, Have your way. Satan, yes, take your hands off tonight and Jesus. throughout this week yes, in the name of Jesus. Name we of cover Jesus. everything with the blood. Yes, and Lord, we pray for covering for everyone that is involved yes, in Jesus' precious yes, name. Jesus. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen, amen. We're so excited. Um, there seems to be like, I think, over five to 600 people on. We are very excited that you decided to join us this week. We pray that the Lord touches you in whatever stage of love that you are in. Like mm. Pastor said, from your singleness all the way to your marriagehood, we pray that the Lord touches you. We pray that, you know, the Lord speaks to us. And through us as well. Mm. And so, before we get started, can you officially introduce yourself? Well, this is great. Um, I think for the past couple of years, I haven't really had time to introduce myself. <laughs> and most people don't really know who I am. Yes. Uh, but today, I want to officially introduce myself. Myself. My name is uh, Dominic Osei. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm a pastor mm-hmm. of Kingdom Full Tabernacle International Ministries. Mm-hmm. Now, before my pastoral work, um, you know, I, I was born in Ghana, mm-hmm. um, came to this country in 1997, and by the God's grace, I was tall enough, so I decided to play basketball, <laughs> which was a great tool for me because through basketball, I was able to go through college, mm-hmm. play Division One basketball, mm-hmm. all on scholarship, so no student wow. loans, guys, what, what, no student loans. What school loans. did you go to? I went to Fordham University, okay. uh, which is a top, top business school. Um, it was a great uh, experience uh, to be able to go to school for free. Uh, Amazing. Yeah, came out with no student loans. Um, and then from there, you know, I, I hit the market. I was working at Wall Street mm-hmm. uh, for a while, you know, working all these big banks, Barclays, Morgan Stanley. Um, you know, you can name them. I've worked for most of them at RBS, which is the Royal Bank of Scotland, mm-hmm. um, the Royal Bank of Switzerland. Uh, and both of them, the Union Bank of Swi- uh, Sc- uh, Switzerland and then also the Royal Bank of uh, Switzerland. Uh, either way, UBS, RBS. RBS, UBS. I was there. Yeah, that's why I actually moved us to Connecticut because yes. they both those offices were both in Connecticut. So mm-hmm. that's where we worked. And from there, you know, the, the calling was getting stronger. When we got married, mm-hmm. it became clear that um, that the, the Lord is calling us into ministry. So. Mm-hmm. We started Kingdom for Tabernacle, and then it got to a point we were both working yes. and doing the ministry as well. And the Lord literally called me and said that, no, this is the time mm-hmm. to step into full-time ministry. So we've been full-time for maybe, let's say, what, a year or two years now? Full-time? Yes. Mm, two to three. Yes, two, two three to years. three years. Yes. Yeah. And so it has been a great ride. Um, you know, had a lot of experiences in life, but by God's grace, I'm doing this work, and I'm so... that's a, I'm more excited doing God's work than any other job. 
Yes. Amen. Amen. And I'm I, I'm also lucky enough to marry my beautiful <laughs> wife here. Amen. All right, 2015, we got married. We're about to make five years, May second. Yes. So, so I think we already we almost there. I mean, it's yeah. what two more weeks? Yeah, May second is a national holiday. Five guys. years in marriage, guys. Yeah. Five oh, years, great. and so many things have happened. Yeah. Within the five years, and God has been good. Amen. Yes. Amen. Well, I'm Leslie Osei. I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. He's from Brooklyn too. As oh well, yes, too. grew up in Brooklyn. Grew up in Brooklyn. Yes. Um, I was born and raised in Brooklyn. I have um, a bachelor's. I have two bachelors, one in biology and one in sociology. And I have my master's in science in psychology. I've worked in all the healthcare systems in Buffalo, basically. Um, by the grace of God, I think my degrees don't even match the jobs that I've, I've been in. <laughs> That's why it's really by the grace of God. I've had such opportunities as, you know, being third in command in one of the biggest healthcare systems. I've had the privilege of being able to teach doctors, mm. medical doctors, how to use robots to do um, cancer surgery on men and women, of course. Mm. And... Um, I've been in health homes. I was one of the people that was able to help birth what health homes are in uh, Western New York. Um, I've worked in a cancer research institute. Mm. I've, I've done a lot in the healthcare field. I love the healthcare field. I've been in a lot of good positions. Um, I'm also a counselor, a therapist, um, by God's grace. And so uh, we'll be doing more of that, hopefully when I finish having all these babies. Mm. Um, by God's grace, I got married to the most wonderful man in the whole entire, entire world. And then we got married. Um, year one, we had baby one. And year five, we're having baby five by God's grace. <laughs> and also we have about, um, we have Kingdom Full Tabernacle International Ministries. And then, what else am I missing? We're missing, I mean, we have, the, you said, you mentioned the five children, which I almost I forgot, too. <laughs> <laughs> the four children, five four to be. Four and five to be, yes. yes. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's. Yeah, so basically. Tomorrow, you continue with that. Yeah. <laughs> so much information. <laughs> so basically, we got together. The Lord prompted us to start a ministry. I was here in Connecticut. I worked a few um, for a year. Yeah. And a half, almost into two years. And then I had to leave the job because the calling was like, okay, you guys have to go into full-time ministry. And so this is how we ended up here. You guys are watching us now. Um, by God's grace, our marriage is not like, you know, the, the most best, but I think it's perfect for us. And I believe that we have a marriage ministry. And so the Lord has given us that influence, especially in that area of marriage, mm -hmm. to be able to talk about it. Um, five years for some people is a lot, and five years for some people is a little. And so either way, um, we thank God uh, for what he's doing. And so we hope you enjoyed today. Today, uh, the topic is the Genesis. The mm. Genesis, where it all began, where it all begins. And so Pastor will tell us what marriage is to begin with, and then okay. we'll get into some stuff. Well, like you said, you said five years may be a little. Yes. And maybe a lot for some people. Yes. And I think for us... It has been a lot of things has happened within the five years. Mm -hmm. I think we've seen so much, so many things happening. Mm -hmm. It feel like it's been t ten years or fifteen years mm -hmm. already. So that itself is a blessing for because it's most of the blessings we have seen God do so much within yes. the five years mm -hmm. in our personal life and also in the ministry. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that is a blessing. Mm -hmm. And I pray that the same grace will fall on people mm -hmm. uh, who, are, who want to get married. Mm -hmm. For me, I will never regret getting married. So that is, yeah. um, that's a blessing for me, and mm -hmm. I pray that it will be a blessing for mm -hmm. somebody else. Mm -hmm. Now, when we talk about marriage, um, the Bible, we go back to the beginning. We look at the book of Genesis. When God created man, the first, thing that he, the first institution that the Lord established for man was marriage mm -hmm. because he, the Bible said that he, he created Adam, and he said, that, wow, it's not good for Adam to be alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so God decided to make a woman, mm -hmm. which was a female, um, which was called Eve. Mm -hmm. And the Lord then brought Eve around Adam, and Adam decided to choose her as a wife. Mm -hmm. 
And he's, Adam made a, dis, a declaration by saying that, he said, for this purpose, a man shall leave his mother and father and will cleave to his wife, mm -hmm. and the two shall become mm -hmm. one. one. Yeah. And so we see here, um, because one of the things that I saw when you read the Bible, you saw that Adam saw the, the woman and she was so beautiful. So wow. so he's like, oh, this is the bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. Mm -hmm. So that means that the woman was made out of the man. And it was indeed, Adam, the Lord had to put Adam to sleep and take the woman out of him. So mm -hmm. when the man actually saw her, mm -hmm. he didn't see uh, something else. He didn't see a different creature. He mm -hmm. saw himself within that body. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so... Adam made that declaration for this purpose, a man shall leave his mother and father and will cleave to his wife. And whatever Adam declared, the Lord established it as law. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever Adam said, all the animals that Adam named were, became the names of those animals. Mm -hmm. And so that was the beginning of marriage. And like I said, God made the woman, but it didn't force the man. Mm -hmm. He introduced, he just brought the woman around him. Mm -hmm. And when he saw the woman... He said that, wow, this is the bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. Mm -hmm. And so it gives us a lot of clues how to search for your husband or how to search for your wife. Mm -hmm. Because there's something called the law of the first mention. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we saw Adam do, literally, that is how we should do it. It's, it's like it gives you how the thing should be mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. And so marriage was, uh, it was a decision of the man. It wasn't the decision of God, but God blessed it when the man made that decision. Amen, amen. And so this is the conception of this marriage that we see. Mm. And so when we're talking about marriage, um, you know, there's a lot of people who are currently dating. Some of them are single, and mm. some people are married on here. Mm -hmm. I believe we have a good mix. Shout out to everyone. I'm very amazed right now. We have over 620 people on YouTube. <laughs> And we have how many on Facebook? 200. 209. Amazing. Um, on Facebook. So shout out to you guys. Thank you guys for, you know, you know, tuning in with us. But when we talk about marriage, we have to always go back to the beginning, where it all started. And mm. that's what you did. Yeah. And individually, too, we have to now also go back to where it all started. Mm. And so many of us are in marriage right now. Many of us are seeking marriage right now. Many of us are single. But what all of us have to do currently in this very moment is take yourself back. Now, you know, I have a degree in psychology and I study relationships a lot. I study those things. And then by the grace of God, you know, I am in a great marriage. Um, and so when you mix those two together, like we have a lot of knowledge that we don't even know how we get sometimes, mm. but I believe it's from the prompting of the Holy Spirit. And so one thing that we want to start talking about is the initial dynamic of your family. Mm. That is what starts off everything. Mm. And when I talk about the initial dynamic of your family, we want to go back to how did you grow up? Mm. If your marriage is failing right now, if you ask yourself this question, how did...